Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check out your other placements for additional messages as this is a general reading. Messages may or may not apply. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next person. I can be picking up on someone around you or someone you could be dealing with, so you might have to swap the roles. And if this reading doesn't resonate right away, it may be something that happens down the line. If you'd like, keep it in your back pocket or you can come back at a later time. We're going to look into what messages need to come through for you guys for this upcoming week. See what you guys could be currently going through or what you can expect. Get some insight wisdom and guidance and we'll see what's happening i hope you guys are doing well let's get right into this reading i'm going to be switching it up a little bit by pulling some animal oracle cards first and then pulling some tarot and then get some affirmations all right so just switching it up a little bit a little change so messages for scorpio someone rising venus for for this next week <laughs> i wanted to say august oh my goodness um messages for scorpio we already have a card flipping out. We have the scorpion. Scorpio. <laughs> okay. First of all, very fiery, very passionate, very dedicated and hardworking. But this card can also talk about having some sort of resentment towards somebody or holding on to past pains, needing to release and forgive. There might be something that you've been holding on to, whether this is some sort of grudge and you have a hard time moving forward from it or trusting people because of the situation that you've gone through and now weighs heavy in your chest, but you're needing to find a way to make peace and release for your own good. Healing as a process is something that you need to be patient about. Sometimes it's hard to forgive others if you didn't get closure or didn't get the answers or something just made you feel some type of way. I understand that, trust me, I've been there, Scorpio. Um, but overall, this is the step you guys are needing to take is to find the forgiveness and needing to make peace with whatever maybe went down and move forward with your life because this is not worth your time. This is not worth your energy. You got good things coming your way, but you're needing to make the space for it. You're needing to allow these opportunities to come forward. But when you're focused heavily on the past or heavily on how people may have done you wrong or hurt you, you end up missing out on opportunities because you're heavily focused on things that are occupying space. So in order for new things to come in, you're needing to release and clear out, cleanse, purge, let out all those emotions, let out how you feel. If you need to cry, cry. If you need to be mad, be mad. Exercise is a good way of releasing those feelings. You guys are on this process of needing to make peace, release, and let go. That's fire energy, okay? All right, messages for Scorpio. Someone I did Venus for the next week. Messages, please, for Scorpio. Someone I did Venus for the next week. The next seven days, please, for my Scorpios. Any messages for Scorpio for the next week? What's the energy looking like for Scorpio for the next seven days? Messages for Scorpio for the next seven days. What's the energy looking like for my Scorpios? We have the oyster. Okay, Cancer had this too. Needing to open up. Needing to share your gifts with the world. Putting yourself out there. It might be scary. It might be really uncomfortable. Maybe you're fearful of how people will judge you. Making mistakes. But you're needing to push through that discomfort and show who you truly are. Being your authentic self. But the oyster. Needing to open up that shell. Needing to let your guard down. Not everybody's out to get you. See, and that's why some of you may have a hard time opening up to new people because of past pain because of your past experiences where maybe you were burned and you're having a hard time breaking out of that cycle because you've been burned so badly that's why the oyster very hard rigid shell but on inside it has that pearl the ooey gooey but like you got your heart wrapped around with barbed wire and you're needing to remove that barbed wire okay you guys are smart you're intuitive you know when people's intentions are impure so allow things to come forward and trust that your intuition is going to be there when you need it the most this is water energy coming out <clears throat> That was me. I'm not going to take that. Okay. Messages for Scorpio for the next seven days. We got the shark. Okay. So there's something you're needing to come clean about. There's something that you need to speak up about. There could be something in your life that you're ignoring. Maybe it's like, okay, no, I'm not bothered by this. I've moved on. It's whatever. 
but like maybe deep down there's still some sense of needing to heal and release and let go and the shark does talk about needing to confront these aspects that you've been ignoring or pushing aside the shark talks about things constantly coming up until you face them so basically you gotta face these demons you gotta face these wounds in order for them to heal you can't just pretend that they're not there you it's all part of the process but the first step to healing is acceptance and accepting where you need to heal, what you need to release, where you may have went wrong, what you can improve on, you know? More water coming out with the shark. Messages for Scorpio for the next seven days. What's the energy looking like for Scorpio for the next seven days? Thank you. You got the tarantula, some sort of decision coming up here and that you're needing to use that intuition of yours to make this decision. Half these cards is fire and half the cards is water. The complete opposites, that's pretty interesting here. But yes, the tarantula is about some sort of decision and until you make this decision, it's gonna keep coming up and up and up. And until you look at it and do something about this, could be something that you are a little bit indecisive about, but that you're needing to trust that intuition of yours. That's what's gonna help you make this decision. And um, that's all I kind of know from the tarantula, okay? Oh, wow, and the stingray, bottom of the deck, decision between the old and the new. Okay, so we, there's definitely some sort of decision coming out here. And when we pull tarot, I bet there's going to be twos. So we'll see. I'm going to get the book just to get some more <clears throat> details as to what's going on here. So the scorpion, passionate, competitive, and tends towards isolation. The scorpion is a passionate and determined creature. Their career is very important to them, as are a few select friends. Sometimes the scorpion's heat festers and they focus on an unresolved event from the past, usually a situation where they were left feeling burned. The scorpion card says it's time to come clean about your feelings so everyone can heal and you can get back to your usual fiery but fun self. When in balance, wild and free, fierce. When out of balance, jealous, resentful, and unresolved issues. And to bring into balance, honesty and forgiveness. Needing to speak that truth of yours. I'm going to skip oyster. I'm going to jump to shark because I think that's going to tie in with scorpion. Not going to lie. So the shark. Directness, exposure, revealing true nature and desire. The shark is only dangerous when we don't acknowledge it. This card indicates that something big needs to be exposed. It's lurking in the depths and creating tension. Shark energy takes over us when we're hesitant to be honest, to be totally ourselves, or to say what we really want. It may be tempted to continue pretending nothing is wrong, but when the shark energy is at play, we feel his presence encircling us. When in balance, intriguing, captivating, and mysterious. When out of balance, sneaky, destructive, and to bring into balance, honesty. These two cards both talking about being honest with yourself, doing that deep inner work, doing that shadow work, Scorpio, and we got that coming out double time. So then with the oyster, patient, secret keeper, hiding inner treasures. The focus and determination of the oyster is unmatched. Anything an oyster personality puts their mind to, they achieve with grace and charm. The only problem is oyster types often take their inner gifts for granted. They become shy or doubtful and this can lead to withdrawing or protecting their deepest desires and life's work. When the oyster card appears, it's important to reveal your inner treasures. What is it that you've been hesitant to share? The world is waiting to see. When in balance, feels blessed, generous, and masterful. When out of balance, reluctant, gripping, and clams up. And to bring it to balance, sharing something. And then we got the tarantula. At a crossroad and claiming life's purpose. The tarantula represents a moment when a great decision must be made. It involves prioritizing your life's deeper purpose or dharma. A habit or routine from the past is sidetracking you from your dream, yet a voice inside keeps begging you to refocus your attention. In order to find true happiness, you must choose dharma. Until you do, satisfaction will be fleeting. The tarantula hovers patient and calm like an old friend that knows your inner soul. It already knows that you'll choose wisely. When in balance follows intuition, when out of balance hesitates and over intellectualizes, and to bring it in balance, daily journaling. So that's a really good way for you to purge, to let those thoughts out of your head. There's just so much on your mind you're needing to get out. Either speak it out loud or write it down. Just get it out of your brain, okay? That's gonna help you because your brain, your thoughts aren't gonna be as cluttered because you're gonna have more of a clear vision of what is actually going on. Get what I'm saying? Anyways, so. That's what I got for the animal oracle cards. I'm just gonna push them up a little bit. Let's pull some tarot now But yeah, so this is pretty interesting Scorpio pretty interesting to see what's happening Messages for Scorpio summonizing Venus for the next seven days. What's going on for Scorpio this week?
Messages for Scorpio for the next, okay, okay, okay. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, coming out of your shell, right? Because I was like, some of you need to open up. You guys definitely are coming out of your shell after a period of isolation, which the Scorpion was talking about, tending toward isolation, all right? Especially if you have been doing a lot of inner work and you have been doing a lot of reflection, have to go within, spend some time alone to really do that deep digging. You can't really be in a crowded room with lots of people doing that deep inner work. You kind of have to go spend some time with your own energy to really do that work. And so it's as if you guys are coming out of your shell with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse after being in isolation, after, you know, distancing yourself or just kind of being quiet coming out of your shell it's similar to cancers i think i said that for cancer because they had oyster and i was like yo you cancerians you crabs i'm a cancerian as well come out of your shell it's time to come out of your crab shell and open up <laughs> very similar you might have cancer in your charts messages for scorpio summonizing venus for the next seven days messages okay we got the six of wands okay so pretty successful really victorious on whatever it is that you set your mind to remember the scorpion and the oyster both were saying that whatever it is that you dedicate yourself to whatever it is that you invest your energy towards whatever that you do as a living or career or a hobby you are so talented at it and that's what you're needing to share with the world you're needing to put your work out there you never know who's going to see it. And with the Six of Wands, this does talk about attention, people seeing your work, people viewing you. Good and bad attention, of course. There's going to be some shady haters. There's going to be people who judge you. But there's also going to be a lot of people who love you for who you are, what you do. You're inspiring to other people. Like, there's a lot of good attention. Don't let the hate get you down. But yes, with the Six of Wands, it's really good, okay? So just know... Whatever it is that you set your mind to, you can accomplish. Be proud of your achievements. Be proud of how far you've come. You are doing amazing. Keep it up, Scorpio. Also, ooh, ooh, Ace of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Also, I wanted to say with the Six of Wands, could be talking about some sort of reward and celebrating it, or I don't know, there could be something really positive coming towards you. Okay, just keep that in your back pocket. Now we have the Ace of Wands come out. So there's this passionate, exciting, fiery new start. This new spark of inspiration. It's like you finally feel excited again, taking things to the next level, expanding on your ideas. Think bigger, think better. Keep going, Scorpio. All right, this is looking really exciting. I, this is definitely something around your career, your finances. And for some, if money's been a little bit tight or a little bit slow or things have just not been working as quickly or as smoothly as you wish it could. But the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, you're coming out of a period of struggle as well as period of loss. Some of you maybe lost some money or you haven't been gaining as much or maybe, I don't know, maybe you haven't been working as many hours due to COVID or something like that. But it's like you guys are coming out of that. There might be some sort of shift. Fives do talk about changes and... Um, it's looking like there's going to be some sort of success going on here or like improvement in your wealth, in your stability. So I'm down for that. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Some of you may have some new love opportunity coming up or getting to know somebody, maybe going out on dates, really depending on the circumstances, of course, but kind of starting to develop some sort of connection. This doesn't necessarily have to be love, but like this is like you guys developing some sort of emotional connection, whether this is a friendship, whether this is someone who you've reconnected with, a, a family family member or a lover, right? But either way, getting to know somebody and opening yourself up to new connections, new people, right? Coming out of that shell of yours, releasing those fears of past relationships that may have went wrong, where you may have been hurt, pushing through the discomfort and allowing yourself to open up again. I love it, Scorpio. <laughs> wow, this is a good reading. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. Pretty fast pace. Okay, we got the Lovers. Oh, and the Ten of Cups, Scorpio. This could be related. Oh my God, I can't even pick this card up. This could be related to this Knight of Cups. Some of you got some new love coming in quick. Okay, now maybe it's not this week, obviously. Time is not linear. It can happen whenever you come across this reading, whenever this resonates, okay? I don't care if this is a year from now, two years from now, six months from now. Whenever you come across this reading and it resonates for you and whoever's open for new opportunities of love, it's looking like there's something that may come in quick. We got the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, okay? So I feel as if like you're getting to know someone, but it's also moving kind of quick, all right? Moving kind of quick, like you're really starting to develop some sort of connection here. And 
before you know it, somebody offers or pops up the question, maybe taking it to the next level, maybe taking it to the next level intimately. I'm just saying, you know, opening yourself up, being in a very vulnerable place. And we also have the Ten of Cups. So you guys may got something real good coming your way. You could be connecting with the Gemini. We do have fire, a little bit of earth, a little bit of water, maybe Piscean. But yo, there could be the potential opportunity for a commitment if you so choose. Now, Venus did move into Cancer, I believe, not that long ago. And from what I've read is that this does bring a lot of potential partnerships and dualities and just like dream teams, whether that's in love, whether that's in friendships or partnerships, work related, really good collaboration type of energy too. Like that's what I'm just feeling here. It's just like, it's really fucking good, you guys. Okay, I'm here for it. Okay, I'm here for it. I need to switch my ring because my fingers are cold and it's sliding around. Okay, okay. So let's start clarifying and get into this Scorpio. This is really exciting. I'm excited for y'all. All right, five of pentacles in the reverse for Scorpio. So I'm rising Venus for the next seven days. So I have the five of pentacles in the reverse for my Scorpios. Five of pentacles in the reverse for Scorpio. Five of pentacles in the reverse for Scorpio. We got the two of swords in the reverse, okay. Try it, the five of pentacles in the reverse for Scorpio. Two of pentacles in the reverse. I told you all these twos were gonna come out when the tarantula and then the um, stingray came out. I was like, there's gonna be twos in this reading. I guarantee we already got two twos coming out. <laughs> Decision, decision. You guys have made up your mind about a decision, okay? So whatever this decision is, you use that intuition of yours to make up your mind. Hold on, let's see what else needs to come out about this Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Five of Pentacles in the reverse for Scorpio. The moon. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, we'll take that for now. We'll put that to the side. Okay, so Five of Pentacles in the reverse, clarifying with the Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles in the reverse, and the moon. So this is something about you guys doing that inner work. Like I was saying, you guys were doing a lot of thinking, a lot of reflection on past pains, things that you're needing to heal from, release, and let go of, right? So you literally looking at your reflection, doing that shadow work. This is Piscean energy, but very watery, very intuitive, very emotional, and pushing through these heavy insecure dark times that you might have felt for a while now you're pushing through that and as you are doing a lot of reflection on yourself you're seeing things clearly you're looking at things for what they are and you're releasing a lot of shit okay two of pentacles in the reverse you're dropping things left and right things that are not good for you things that are not in the benefit of your higher self your purpose your path you get what i'm saying so at the bottom of the deck we have the five of swords the ten of pentacles and the knight of swords okay so this i feel as if this is a very quick decision that you end up making after doing that inner work you're like fuck it i'm gonna do this i'm gonna start making changes in my life because we got these two cards out the five of swords and the knight of swords and both these cards are pretty fast-paced energy these thoughts these ideas these things these realizations hitting you all of a sudden and needing to look at it for what it is so that you can have a stable foundation okay also your money again your money your finances looking good Outside of this picture, five of pentacles in the reverse, like I was talking about financially wise, your finance is improving, seeing a significant change in your stability in the home life as well as your career, your finances, paychecks looking better, your wallet's getting thicker. Okay, let's move forward. Let's go into the six of wands. Kind of the six of wands for Scorpio, summonizing Venus. For the next seven days, kind of the six of wands for Scorpio, please. For the next week, turn of the six of wands for Scorpio. Someone rising Venus for the next week. Six of wands for Scorpio. We got the page of cups in the reverse. Okay. Six of wands for Scorpio. Someone rising Venus. Four of Pentacles in the ears. We got a lot of it. My deck's not upside down. Don't call in about it. It's only the Six of Wands for Scorpio and the Eight of Swords. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands again. Double confirmation. The Page of Swords. Oh, yeah. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Scorpio. You know how I was saying you have a lot of attention on you, a lot of eyes on you based off what you're doing, these ideas you're pursuing, putting yourself out there, putting your work out there, showing your work to the world. 
I do feel like you guys are needing to be mindful of who you surround yourself with as we do have the page of cups in the reverse. This kind of comes off as somebody who may be inauthentic or something about their intentions aren't pure, okay? This could be somebody very slick, very smooth with their words. There's gonna be a lot of leeches trying to mooch off your success, okay? Just letting you guys know, a little warning, just be mindful. Not everybody's out to get you like I was saying before, but just use that intuition of yours. You already know when somebody gives you that vibe, you already know, so. Just a heads up, trust the feeling. If you got that feeling, trust it. Um, this could be related to people you've released, that decision that you made to let some things go, possibly connections for some. You released that. Again, we got that six of wands at the bottom of the deck. We got the page of swords. This can definitely be this lurking energy. And then we got the queen of pentacles. I do feel, and then underneath the queen of pentacles is three of cups. You guys are living your best life, moving up to the next level. Notice how in this card with the queen of pentacles that the vine is trying to reach out to her and grab onto her as she's moving up the next step. I almost feel as if those are past people looking at you maybe energetically trying to pull at you maybe they haven't reached out but they're doing a lot of lurking a lot of watching a lot of eyes on you like i've been saying but they're, they're too anxious to actually do anything about it to reach out because they know you've released them with the four of pentacles in the reverse you've let that shit go maybe even block them for some with the page of cups in the reverse there could be some sort of blockage very little to no communication okay but yes it's like there's still this energy lingering and you're needing to just protect yourself cut that tie block them if you haven't already you just don't need that energy you don't man so just be mindful of that as there are some lurkers creeping in the distance <sighs> but and they see they see that you're happy they see that you're living your best life underneath the three of cups we got the eight of wands they see that you're moving on that you're moving towards great things big things okay and they're watching <laughs> they're watching Woof. How does that feel? I'm just kidding. Okay, let's go into the ace. Let's go into this ace of wands. Tell me the ace of wands for Scorpio, summonizing Venus for the next week. Tell me this ace of wands for Scorpio. This is possibly some new idea, some new spark of interest, or some sort like that. Tell me the ace of wands for Scorpio. We got that queen of swords. Okay, I'm getting analytical business mindset, crossing the T's, dotting the I's, and pushing through and making shit happen with the queen of swords, okay? You don't have time to waste. You're not gonna waste it on bum ass bitches. Oh my God. <laughs> Literally, okay. Tell me about the ace of wands for Scorpio. We got the king of cups in the reverse and the star in the reverse. You don't have time for people who are inauthentic. People who just wear a mask trying to use you because they see that you're successful. You don't have time for that. And that's the thing. You have that stick and you know who's true and you know who's false. All right. You're using that discernment. You're using also that intuition, but also your logic. You're looking at the facts and you don't have time to waste. You can see through people's act, right? Bottom of the deck, we got the emperor. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Scorpio and the Empress and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so this goes back to what we were talking about, this Knight of Cups and that Knight of Swords energy. Something quick coming in. Possible new opportunity for love if you so choose. But seriously, y'all, this is like tied into this next card because we got the, the Knight of Swords again, double confirmation. And on top of that, we got a perfect pair. Emperor to the Empress. Aries energy as well as Taurus. Oh, my god wait let me hold it like this Ooh, ooh, scorpio you got me excited that could also be related to what this ace of wands is about something passionate something hot something fiery something sexy something intimate i'm just saying scorpio hey hey okay <laughs> let's go into this knight of cups okay and then we're gonna get some affirmations after this turn the knight of cups for scorpio someone rising venus for the next seven days. Tell me the tell me the Knight of Cups for Scorpio. Summonizing Venus for the next week. Tell me this Knight of Cups for Scorpio. Now, of course, like I said, this may resonate down the line if this isn't right now. Knight of Cups for Scorpio. Tell me the Knight of Cups for Scorpio. Summonizing Venus. <gasps> you know what? Oh my god. <laughs> you guys. We have the oyster here, right? Notice how there's a shell opened up. 
the world is your oyster. Literally, do you see that shit? I just noticed that. I was like, wait. Oh my god, Scorpio. I'm excited. <laughs> my reaction. <laughs> Let's get one more shuffle for the Knight of Cups. Oh man, this is something. Try the Knight of Cups for Scorpio. Ooh, we got the Emperor. Okay. Oh, sorry. We got the Empress. I can't read, apparently. But still, okay. Now. Hold on. Let's see what else comes out. Knight of Cups for Scorpio. Strength in the reverse. Leo energy. Hmm. Tell you the Knight of Cups for Scorpio. Summon Rising Venus. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. We got three major arcanas coming out here. Oh, okay. This is coming towards you. This is coming. You're not moving towards this. This is coming towards you. Okay. I feel like you guys are focusing on yourself, your well being, taking care of who you are, your empire, and being the best damn version you can be. I feel as if you aren't taking any action towards love. You're like, fuck love, right? Because we have the Wheel of Fortune and Strength in the reverse. You just don't have the time for it. You don't have that strength for it. You're like, ugh, no. You know what they say? Because some of you might have been trying to manifest a relationship. It wasn't coming in. You're like, you know what? I don't even want one. Never mind, <laughs> right? But it's always when you release. It's always when you let go of that manifestation. You forget about it when it comes rolling in. Always happens, y'all. Always happens. They always say, if you want something, let it go. If it's meant to be yours, it will come. That's what's happening here. It's like you guys are like, you know what? I don't even want love. Never mind. I'm going to focus on me. I don't have the time, the energy, the strength. I'm going that way. See ya. Right? And then it's just like, Knight of Cups comes in. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. The Magician. See your manifestations. Oh, we got the Devil and the Death card. You're leaving behind toxicity. You're leaving behind things that were draining you, getting in the way of new things, right? You're releasing that. That's coming to an end. This toxicity, Capricorn energy, we also have you guys coming through with the death card. That's wrapping up. This is over. This toxicity, these toxic cycles, done. Laying it to rest. You've jumped off that wheel. And see, that's why we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You jumped off that wheel. You're gone. <laughs> you're gone. And you're heading in this new direction. And you have the tools you need to bring in whatever it is that you want. And hey, for those who are trying to bring in new love, it might just happen. What you got to do, set the intention, release, let go. Don't worry about it. It's yours already. When it's meant to be, it will be. And it will come forward. Okay, and that's kind of what I feel. So, damn, Scorpio. I'm here for that. Okay. So, probably pull some quick rebel advice, and affirmations, and then we'll wrap up to, and then we'll end the reading. Okay. Okay. So, any rebel advice for Scorpio? Someone rising Venus. For Scorpio, someone rising Venus. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Scorpio, this is so good. <laughs> Okay, 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 Scorpio. So first of all, we got power. Take your shit out on your own, which you guys tend to do that. You work on your own problems. You do the inner work, no problem. You have that strength, you have that power, and honor that. And then we have shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. But then we got money, money, money coming out make it rain so i feel like the shit that's going down with your job nothing bad it's actually something positive make it rain bitch all right oh, okay okay let's get some affirmations and we're wrapping this reading up okay affirmations for scorpio someone rising venus for this reading the next week someone rising venus okay okay we got tranquility come out we got happiness hey Affirmations for Scorpio. Affirmations, okay, and guidance. Okay, so tranquility coming out. Find a tranquil setting and enjoy the quiet. Answers come more easily when the mind is empty of thoughts. You will feel freer when you let go of fears of not achieving. Affirmation, I'm blessed. So you guys are needing to find a quiet place where you can be alone and hear your own thoughts and allow messages to come forward. Whether you're trying to gain guidance or clarity on something on maybe what you need to choose or where you need to go or some sort of decision you may have you need to tap into your inner knowing okay you are blessed and stop feeding into those fears of not achieving you guys are so capable of making whatever it is that you want a reality 
And then we have happiness. Trust your feelings of happiness. They indicate you're on the right path. Allow the heavens to respond to your requests. Affirmation, I trust life. So like I said, your manifestations are coming in when you choose to release and let go and you stop obsessing and overthinking and what if it's not coming in? Oh my God, it hasn't happened, it hasn't happened. When you release and you're like, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, I'm gonna keep moving forward. I'm not gonna sit around and wait for this to happen. I'm gonna continue on with my life and when it's meant to be, it will come in. It's gonna happen, just have that trust, have that faith that is gonna work out when it's meant to be, when the timing's right and when you're ready for it, okay? But there's some good things coming your way and just know you're on the right path keep it up, keep going. And then we have guidance. You are a beautiful soul providing a guiding light to others on their spiritual journey. Affirmation, I'm a role model for others. You're very important, Scorpio. You have a huge impact on those around you, people in this world. And even though you may feel like you're small or insignificant, or you may feel like you doubt your talents, right? Because that's what the oyster card said at the very beginning of this reading, that you may have these doubts that maybe it's not that big of a deal or that, nah, that's not the truth. Everything you do matters. You count. You're amazing. You have a huge impact on those around you and you make this world a better place, okay? Just keep that in mind, a little friendly reminder that you matter. That's what I got for you guys. So this was your weekly reading. If you got something from this, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.